Hey everyone, Reminex here, and holy moly, am I tired. Oh, I've been so excited about the information I got yesterday that I just couldn't sleep. I was just so excited for patch day, and it hasn't happened in a while. Um, so we're going to go through the changes uh, to some of the kits. We're going to go through the absolute power house that's Kestrel and the damage that the new Heroes for Hire team is going to do to war. It's going to change the landscape of war. Let's get right into it. So Kestrel right here with the 18972 may not seem impressive, but with level 75, four red star, that puts her higher than everybody but Doom. Yeah, that makes her, makes her number two. I got to check my math on that, but it looks like there was with no Stark Tech. That's the answer. It looks like Stark Tech zero is applied on these characters. So yeah, so high damage, high health, just amazing overall. Uh, we're going to showcase her kit in a minute and reveal her tags, which are going to knock your socks off. And then more importantly, she's got a speed of 125. So realistically, you're going to be asking yourself a few questions. Rem, can I use her in the Doom Raid? And the answer is, oh boy, yes, you can. All right, first things first. Knowing with her high damage, you're gonna look at these abilities. They're just, they're crazy amounts of damage overall, but tech skill. Uh, so this means that she is a solution for both the tech and skill lanes that have been kind of a struggle for some of us. And yes, yeah, she's on par with, with, um, with our good friend Silver Surfer, absolutely. 270% damage plus a fly de uh, defense down for two turns to each target and then repeat this attack one additional time. Yeah. And then apply speed up for two turns, defense up and immunity to self. Insanity. A lot of cool things. This is a great flex character. It's gonna be really, really important going forward. This ultimate though, absolutely insane. Apply defense down, clear all positive effects, apply defense down. Attack for 600% piercing. Okay, that's a very important number. We see that we see that 600% piercing used a lot. Cough, cough, black bolt. Okay, but applying defense down and then attack. We'll check that very, very soon. Characters killed by this attack cannot be revived. That's going to be important. On spawn, gain charge plus offense up for two turns. On turn, heal self for 20% of max health plus carry negative effects from self. Okay, that's not too bad. On turn, if charged, an enemy and any enemy has attempted to summon or clone this match, they're charged. Basically, you're preventing characters from charging, from from, um, from summoning. It's going to be a big deal. This is a showstopper for Sinister, uh, Hela, other, char other characters. It's, it's going to be pretty impressive. We're going to we're going to stay tuned, all right? We're going to talk about some of the design intentions here because uh, they did share this with us. Okay. So super health. And then there is some cosmic Nick Fury gain plus 20% health. And then Nick Fury allies gain plus 40. So some call outs to uh, her origin story, which we saw yesterday. <clears throat> all right. And then there it is, guys. While this character is charged, enemies cannot summon or clone. That is pretty insane. All right, so just really strong, basically is a new counter to the summon and clone mechanics. Uh, we were talking about the fact that we we saw her potentially doing that. Um, so um, I feel like it's she's gonna be a necessity for this next team. And we're, we're gonna go over this. We saw the Colleen Wing kit preview in the blog, but we're gonna get right into the heroes for hire because I think they're absolutely going to be a brand new type of defense that we haven't seen. Potentially one that is designed to be a wall where it'll not likely be one shot with the exception of maybe one or potentially two teams. So this is going to be war changing. Let's get into it. So um, right away, we have a few different 
questions that come up with with Colleen, like where does her stats line up? And so uh, a lot of her damage is based on bleed and um, so we'll talk about it. Look at that number, 18972. You know who else had that number? Yeah. She's dropping in hot, landing in next to Kestrel, the top of the food chain for damage. What makes that exceptional is the fact that this is also going to translate into her bleed mechanic. So you're probably asking me, Rem, you think I could take? Yes, you take her to Doom Raid. Yeah, absolutely. 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 And we're going to test that out on stream uh, at launch. We're, we're definitely going to you know, build her up. She looks to be exceptional. And more importantly, we're going to debut some, some footage here. We're going to talk about, realistically, can this team handle the Black Order, what will beat them and what won't, right about now. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, the mechanic they have with the rework characters is we're going to showcase them all here. So um, one thing we were, we, were, we were wondering about is what would um, Misty Knight do, okay? So Misty Knight is a Hero City tech controller. Um, her basic Bionic Pummel, just amazing, apply... Uh, Damage plus defense down. Apply offense up to random uh, Colleen wing ally. Yeah, she's going to have offense up a lot of times when she's, you know, throwing out bleeds. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then unblockable. All right. So energy cost 3-3 three, three attack primary target for 350% damage plus apply stun and heal block and then chain to additional adjacent target for 300% damage plus apply ability block and heal block. Yeah. Ability block, guys. On war defense, this attack targets the enemy with the highest damage instead of the primary target, ignoring taunt and stealth. Clear all death proofs on all enemy summons and attack for 500% damage. Okay? This part of the attack cannot be dodged. If Colleen Wing is an ally, this attack cannot be blocked. It's... I, I... There are no words. Okay? So... From a special point of view, this is a tech character that now has ability block and heal block. And that alone adds value outside of war. But in war, she also gets the charge mechanic. Clear all positive effects on primary target and then attack and apply ability block and disrupted. On war defense, this attack targets the enemy with the highest health instead of the primary target, ignoring taunt and stealth. Hello. That would probably be Thanos. Yep. That would probably be Thanos. Okay. Passive crew captain on spawn on war defense fills speed bar by 20%. And this is important for all for self and all heroes for how I I'll, I'll hire allies. Grant 10 ability energy. Now this grant 10 ability energy is very, very important. It's why we're talking about her being this wall. So basically this team is being designed as the first team that doesn't allow you to sack a team. If you go into this fight and you fail, if you didn't kill anybody, they're just gonna get a brand new reset of all their cooldowns and start from square one. It's good and bad. You always know what to expect, but all the work you've done will be undone. Okay? Gain speed up for two turns if this character has... Uh, so there's the, the gain charge, right? So the character has three more hair and health is full and not charged, gain charged. So basically, a couple of factors there. Um, this is probably the first two slash three shot team that we faced in war. Unless you have the right teams to beat them. We'll talk about that in a minute. At the end of any turn, if charged and below 50% health, lose a charge, clear all negative effects, heal for 100% of this character's max health. So basically, as long as they have charged, they're relatively unkillable. And you're going to see that repeat, repeated a few times on this team. Okay? On enemy death, apply speed up to two random heroes for uh, allies or self that do not have speed up. Gain 5% dodge chance and 5% heroes for ally. 
on war defense gain 70 percent focus okay so she's going to be a phenomenal character um i think that her bringing the ability block is just going to be huge uh she's going to be the early counter to thanos so if she gets that ability block on thanos it's pretty much game over and um uh, i i do have some footage for this uh, but we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let it we're gonna play it live when the team is uh finally out there so i think it's more important to see to see what it has you'll see some of the footage in the other envoy videos if you guys want to check those out uh the other guys out there will be sharing some different different footage with you uh, i'm gonna have footage later on of the skill military rework so stay tuned for the next video here characters defining attributes okay and then um yeah they basically one thing they did here is they kind of let us inside of the thought process for the developers when they're building these kits which i think is huge okay let's talk a little bit about updated characters so the basic will now always apply assist now to a random hero if the ally is a defender of heroes for higher ally they also gain offense up so nice special bring it on apply regeneration to all defender allies and so now it's just heroes for higher but this is the big deal the ultimate apply defense up to all defender and heroes for ally ally for two turns apply deflect and two death proof to self and all heroes for ally ally heroes for higher allies huge there's new passive gain 10 percent max health per defender for a higher ally fill speed bar by 80 percent. so this is on spawn on war defense he's going to be speeding up getting that defense up and death proof to the team if this character is uh, and they also gains charged so basically you you kill them they'll come back just like everybody else in the team at the end of any turn if charged and below 50 percent health lose one charge clear all negative effects and heal for a 100 percent of this character's back health gain offense up for two turns deflect and death proof if charged always revive on death and gain 10 percent damage 10 percent reduction and 175 percent resistance per charge so this is repeated throughout these kits all right iron fist okay so this is going to be his his special all right clear all negative effects from self and all heroes for ally allies heal self all defender and all hero for ally allies for 30 percent of his characters max self so it's a substantially large larger heal okay and then the iron fist okay the ultimate on war defenses target targets the enemy with the highest damage instead of the primary target ignoring taunt and stealth and no longer has a chance to gain offense down big deal okay so that's a big big difference and then the passive it goes from uh the old to the new where on spawn heals self defender and heroes for allies for 30 percent max health on turn 40 percent chance to heal self defender and heroes for allies for 30 percent of this character's max health gain five percent damage per defender or and heroes for how ally uh hires um allies so we'll take a look at that that double dipped um when we had marauders for saber tooth he may actually be insane damage so if you guys have that seven red star iron fist take a look at the damage now when a heroes for a higher ally drops below 50 percent health apply defense up for two turns that ally if they if they weren't already unkillable on spawn on war defense of this character so he's going to gain the charge mechanic the enemy turn of charged and below 50 percent health lose one charge clear all negative effects heal for 100 percent of this characters and then so again we're going to see this here all right guys so first things first those are our patch characters and our patch reworks we're going to go to the skill military stuff of the next video here just because i showcased them a lot previously on my channel you can't miss these characters. They're going to be important. They're taking a C team and making them into an eight war defense team. That'll probably be the staple of how you progress in war going forward. This just has the same impact as as Colson uh, did back in the day, but even more so because there isn't an easy solution in day in game. It'll take coordination, alliance communication, and more importantly, it's going to change the pace of war overall which is a welcome change. So I'm excited. If you're excited, leave some, some notes in the comments here. I'm hoping you guys are ready for this awesome, awesome patch. And I'll see you guys in the skilled military video coming soon.